very close family. That's because we have great heads of the family on set. We have Tom Cruise and Christopher McQuarrie, and they are both really, really good leaders. They're great storytellers and collaborative. Everything is a conversation. Everything is, let's talk about it, let's try and make it better. There's no bad ideas, there's only ideas which either work or don't work. And especially when a movie lasts a year, you shoot it for a year and you go to all these different locations and work very, very long hours, you have an incredible sense of, of a bond which grows between all of us. Uh, as far as traveling to locations, absolutely. Yeah, we did a lot of traveling to practical locations and I loved that. It was so wonderful. Wonderful to be on location in places and, and feeling kind of when you go to these extraordinarily epic places like the Southern Alps in New Zealand or Pulpit Rock in Norway or in the streets of Paris, you feel something different and it really helps performance and audiences know. Audiences know what they're seeing. They know when something's fake and they know when something's real. Even if they don't necessarily notice it subconsciously, everyone picks it up. Being on location for me is, is a real gem. I love it. Nosotros no somos así. I can indeed. He's a member of the CIA. He's a member of a, a special team which hunts down bad guys, basically. And he is probably the most talented and most ruthless of this team. There's a reason why they call him the Hammer. And that's because he will do anything to take his target. He is ultimately for the greater good of the planet, but he will happily cause collateral damage to take out one guy or a group of guys, which makes him very different from Ethan Hunt. He's the polar opposite as far as methodology is concerned, but he's very, very effective. To say it wasn't physically painful is, is not true. <laughs> it was there was definitely some discomfort uh, throughout the movie. It was it was a physically taxing movie certainly, but at the same time enormously enjoyable. There's nothing wrong with a bit of physical discomfort, especially when it leads to great experiences and great storytelling. I would do it again in a heartbeat. It's not, but it's it's not necessarily just my favorite genre. It, Mission Impossible franchise was a wonderful franchise to become a part of. There's Chris McQuarrie was directing this one again and writing it, and so that was an opportunity I didn't want to skip on. Tom Cruise, Americana for the past three decades, would love to have worked with him, and I did now. And I wouldn't necessarily spy genres say spy genres are like my favorite genre. They're cool. That's a cool genre for sure. But I'm not too sure I have a favorite genre. I I just like good stories. Maybe, but. I like all this stuff. I, I, when it comes to these kind of movies, I, I like watching them, and so I like making them. Uh, yeah, sure, maybe, but there's plenty of time for quiet when I'm older. Todos los éxitos.